And for those of you that are just taking my code cards, you know, I'm sorry again. I, I am more than understanding if you guys choose to move away. What is going on, you gamers? We're out here. As always, imploring you guys, hit the reset button. We're starting a new game. So here's the deal. Uh, this episode is going to be a little bit different. Decided I'm just going to go ahead and kind of combine two factors that I've been doing on the channel for a little while. So the first things first, as you can probably tell, I'm just going to let uh, I'm, I, you can see my hands and the game is still playing. But what I'm going to actually do is I'm going to turn this into a real talk just as well. Nothing that is up here that's happening right now is outside of the usual and then I'm just going to kind of play through it. I do, however, want to go over the quick checklist. The first things first. Uh, we are going to be taking out the bell gargoyles today. I don't really have a strategy outside from just summoning Solaire, so you just got to make sure you use a humanity uh, reverse hollowing before you go through the castle. Because when you get all the way up to the top of the ladder, and I'll show you guys as we get there, you'll be able to summon Solaire. He helps out with the fight tremendously. He actually holds aggro so you can cut off his tail so you can get a nice little axe. Just as well, he has a quest line that if you summon him throughout, uh, you actually get a reward for it at the very end of all of it. I'm also going to try and take out the assassin who sits behind the prison. He, I found out he's actually an assassin. I, I killed him on accident, but he actually does try and kill the firekeeper uh, later on. So you want to make sure that you, or, so I'm going to take the opportunity and I'm going to kill him, try and get that ring. But all that aside, yeah, let's uh, let's do a quick real talk. Something that uh, the elephant in the room, let's just clear the air. Something within my channel, what I do on here, and what I really needed to make sure is passed on. Because over the course of the last couple of months, I feel like I've really enjoyed what I've been doing. But I don't feel like I've admitted to half the stuff that's been going on. First things first, you guys have probably already noticed, I don't do pack openings anymore. Uh, my quick pack attacks are gone, I don't do Pokemon, I, don't, I, I, I sometimes talk about Pokemon, but I don't really refer back to it, I don't really talk about the Yu-Gi-Oh, the magic, any of that. And it's the same reality that I feel everybody hits. They get to a point where if they don't have kind of like a side hustle thing, or even if this is their side hustle, if they don't have a main thing coming, then it becomes hard to fund, and that's kind of the wall that I hit. I mean, I went through a huge move a couple months back, and the move was ideally just to kind of move me and my family out to a little bit more comfortable of an area from where we were, just so that way we had, uh, we were surrounded by family. That was a big thing. And unfortunately, that also meant that I had to change jobs, that also meant I had to make sacrifices, so there was a two-month hiatus that I took, it might have even been closer to three months where I just kind of dwelled upon everything. Believe it or not, I did what I, I just call like I, my last pack of destiny. I went out and I bought one booster pack, one team up booster pack of Pokemon cards and I, I opened it and I was thinking to myself, okay, if I get something good, I'm going to continue doing the packs because I like them, they're fun. They definitely are, don't get me wrong, they are fun. But if I got something junky or if I got something that just wasn't really worth it, I would just call it kaputs on it, and I unfortunately I got a non-holographic rare. So in the back of my head that told me it wasn't worth continuing forward. That was the sign that I took, that it just, it was time to call it quits, it was time to put it away. But you know, let's touch basis on that a little bit. There is absolutely nothing wrong with doing what you love on YouTube, and that was one thing that I learned. I, I started doing YouTube because I wanted to do what some of these major pack openers do. You know, I mean, I was watching a ton of them and they had so much fun doing it. I was like, I, I, I needed that. You know, I've been trying, I think I've talked about this in the past. New Game was an idea that I came up with years ago that I wanted to make into a reality. I wanted to make YouTube videos at least five or six years ago, but I just never found what I wanted to do with it. So it took me a long while, but I actually decided it was time uh, back, I think it was back in October, I decided, you know what, I'm just gonna start investing in this. I know I'm gonna be able to get a lot of video content out there and there is a major learning curve that it was involved, but I needed to get past that. So I decided it was time to just bite the bullet. Six years into making the decision, I decided let's do it. But here's the thing guys, I, I, I was kind of just doing it because I needed something. The reality is, is it becomes very hard to both fund and, and what really killed it for me was the enjoyability factor out of it. 
I really did have fun with the card openings. Unfortunately, they got very repetitive. You know, I was making four or five videos a week, which, I mean, on top of getting very expensive, just became very repetitive. I felt like I was just opening packs, being excited, opening packs, not excited, opening packs, not excited, and it would just go back and forth, back and forth. And unfortunately, since I didn't have any way to prepare for the video other than just to have everything set up, it became too routine, it started getting boring, opening the packs and getting nothing, or opening the packs and getting one good thing, became very frustrating. Especially when you see how many, like, I, I I save all my receipts, that's kind of a bad habit of mine. But I see all these numbers climb up and I'm just like, where's the return on all of this? I'm making all the videos, which again, they were fun. There was just this point where I got and I was just like, this is just too repetitive for me. So here I am now, uh, we're talking two, maybe three months into playing video games. And uh, again, another thing I've touched basis on in the past was not being able to have time to play as many video games as I wanted. And now here I am, I'm playing games every day. And I'm having a lot of fun. A lot of fun playing the game, a lot of fun editing the games. I'm, I'm pointing at the TV and my computer. Um, but I'm having a lot of fun doing it. And what I think is really enjoyable to it is it's something that's different every single time. Whether I'm playing the game over again, I can, you know, I'm experiencing it in a different way. But, you know, again, it's something that I enjoy doing, and that's to the same point. I'm not going to at all whatsoever try and paint this picture that I have this super depressing life and I suffer from crazy anxiety because, quite honestly, I've never been to a doctor. I've never talked to a medical physician to be able to diagnose me with that, but I will tell you guys, I mean, there is this reality. I needed something that was going to start this right here. Get me in front of this phone, talking to the world. I mean, I, like, I can sit here and I can say the same thing 16 different times to the phone, and I'll take the best one of how I said it, but that's just me trying to be a perfectionist. But the reality is, is I could not do this about a year ago. About a year ago, it took everything within me just to be able to say like, hey, let me talk to people. And yet here I am now, I'm able to like make videos four or five times a week. I can talk to people through this and I can go out there and still be me. But if it wasn't for the pack openings, I never would have had that one thing that would have gotten me to this point. And now I'm really being able to turn around and do what I really want to do. That really is not to say that the channel is not going to evolve further. I really do want it to evolve into a lot of different things. But for right now, this is really where I want the channel to be. And I do apologize for those of you that do follow me for the pack openings. So let's, so let's clear the air really fast. Uh, if you do follow me for the pack openings, I do greatly appreciate your support up until this point. If you do not wish to follow me through into my Let's Plays and my walkthroughs or my playthroughs, I will tell you right now, I have no interest in returning to those pack openings. So I'm going to tell you guys right now, if you really do feel like that's what you followed me for, I won't have any harsh feelings towards the idea that you guys want to move away from my channel, you want to unsubscribe to me, no hard feelings, no, none taken. But I promise you that I'm going to continue to develop, I'm going to continue to make my channel into something that's amusing, entertaining, it's just going to be in a different direction. And for those of you that are just taking my code cards, you know, I'm sorry again, I, I am more than understanding if you guys choose to move away. But if you do choose to stick around, I do greatly appreciate you. Uh, to those of you that have reached out to me, you know, just whether it's just figuring out where I've been or what I've been up to or why I changed the pack openings, I do greatly appreciate your support just as well. But again, this is the direction I do want the channel to start going in. So this, I mean, this is all still prototype. I mean, this is a piece of cardboard. It shifted just now. So uh, I'm not 100% where I want it to be. I just need it to start getting in that direction. So uh, as time goes, you will see me change things. You will see me work on different things, uh, but I'm doing it for you guys. I'm doing it so that you guys can enjoy what you're watching. You guys can enjoy watching me. And because I find it fun, I, I really do. This is just, this is something I've really wanted to do for the longest time. This is something that now I'm finally able to do it. I will say, I, I appreciate the time that you guys spent with me opening packs. I appreciate the time that I spent opening packs. But if I didn't do it, I wouldn't be where I'm at now, six, seven months later. So I'm gonna, can, I'm just gonna hit the ground running with it. So I am trying to synchronize this with the timing and everything with the video. So I know, I don't know what's going on up there. <laughs> but to summarize everything, 
I greatly appreciate everyone's support up until this point. I am going to continue. I am not going to stop. However, we are going to take it in this direction and we're just going to keep running with it. I didn't want to not address this issue because I know it is an issue. I didn't want you guys to think I just built you guys up to this point and then I just decided to change things without saying anything. But we're going to convert back down to this and I'm going to go back into uh, how, to, how to finish up this boss. It's not, very, it's not a very difficult boss again. Trust me, it's... It's actually relatively simple if you've never done it before it is a surprise uh, but hey that's why you're here all right guys so I'm not 100% sure what was going on with that I've never had a bug out like that for me so I'm actually just gonna reset the game we'll come back to it at a different time the ring is not necessary but it would it would have helped uh, but here we are we're about ready to face the bell gargoyles we know they double up at a part at a certain point and I decided to maintain my humanity because I want to make this fight a little bit easier Plus, I want to maintain Solaire's quest line. So we are going to summon Knight Solaire to this fight. It's literally the one strategy that I use, is just having Solaire. And if you happen to have any Pine Resin, it might make the fight a little bit easier. But quite honestly, I, I don't bang on it. I just summon Solaire, charge up in there. Cut off the tail if you would like, because the axe is relatively nice. And we're going to just go right into it. I actually saw the health bar for quite a, for a little second here. But I will admit the cinematic to this is really cool. Uh, the Belgoyo coming to life, and then it kind of, and then the second one dropping down in the middle of the fight. So because I do like to collect everything, I will let Solaire pretty much hold aggro while I pretty much just swing at the tail. That's my what I do. Not even gonna really waste the time with anything else. Except swinging at his backside, hoping that all my swings contribute to cutting off that tail. There's the second one right there. I did not see it personally drop down, but oh, thank you, Solaire. Solaire did it for me. That worked out. At this point, just avoid the fire. That's all that I gotta say. Avoid the fire. Keep going as you are. As you can see, I've upgraded my weapon to plus three, so my dam my attacks do a pretty decent amount of damage, even to these guys as a boss. And I may be able to get it in just two more goes unless Solaire does something. And at least he doesn't die. Perfect. And that's that's really all that there is to know about the Bell Gargoyles. Not a hard fight whatsoever. As long as you're prepared for it. <laughs> Sunlight Medallion, that's what we came for. So unfortunately this fight is not uh, optional. You have to do this fight because it is part of Ring the bells, you gotta ring the bell up top, you gotta ring the bell down below. So we rang, we're we going up top, we're gonna ring that bell up top. And then we kinda get past that, and then we gotta go down to uh, Quilog, Quilog, Quilag, and we gotta fight her. But I will show you guys how to get past Blight Town. I'll, I'll show you the back door. I'm not, I, I never go through Blight Town now that I know how to get through the back door. I did it on accident in my previous playthrough. Uh, but here's the bell. This is uh, this is what I'm gonna be calling an episode today. I know it was a little bit different of an episode, and I do appreciate you guys sticking with it. Uh, just to kind of give, I, I wanted to give you guys a heads up in regards to everything that's been happening, and just as well everything that I feel needed to be said. I knew I was gonna say it, but I said I was gonna do it like about two months ago, and I never did. So here's me just kind of throwing a video out there that I've done before. It wasn't, it wasn't like this was anything difficult. There was a point when I was having a little bit of glitch issues. But other than that, I, I felt like it was necessary. But as always, uh, if you guys like the video, please leave that like down that way. Smash the subscribe button over this way if you enjoy what I do. You guys, stay awesome.